As the Tari was set up in July 2012 as a transit camp initially for Syrian refugees crossing the border into Jordan from the civil war that's raging in their country at the moment. When we first saw the camp it was a wide expanse of white tents. Of the sheer size, basically looking at a, a medium to large town. There's probably about 65, 70,000 people there now. The Syrian refugees have a, have a pretty horrific crossing um, from Syria into Jordan. They tend to move by night for their own safety. The children all have to cross by foot. There's been reports of sniper fire. What became really apparent to us is the amount of people and the amount of agencies that help the, the refugees. Uh, there are hospitals at the camp that are run by the Moroccan, French and Italian military. The, the local Rotary are helping their raising money to pay for blankets and uh, mattresses. The, the Jordanian people particularly, they want to help their neighbours in, in Syria, wanting to volunteer at the camp, acting as teachers and, and translators. But there is still a need, and more basic requirements are needed to maintain the camp standard. There have been 100,000 people registered through the, the camp. 50,000 of those have been registered in the last four weeks. So the concern is that they cannot put up the services quick enough, that they just don't have enough resources to help all of the people coming through. What we saw and witnessed was a genuine compassion for, for the neighbours, the Syrian refugees that were coming across. It was also very apparent the compassion that the Syrian refugees themselves had for each other. One particular family we went to see, they'd lost everything in their journey to flee Syria and they still invited us into their tent. They invited us for breakfast. They had very little, but the little that they had, they still wanted to share with us. The Syrian crisis stands further than Zatari. Um, Zatari is almost to saturation point and we found a need further east and the plan is that uh, Shelterbox will deploy their tents to accommodate the influx of refugees.